Hi everyone, Corey here from Tales from a Polk County Girl, and Mom's here! Hi everybody. Uh, um, so, Mom and I obviously are not in my living room. We're in a hotel room in West Virginia. So we came up here and, yeah, wow, I do have a bump in my hair. Oh well. Um, so while Mom and I are up here, I'm finally going to talk to her about her planner that I made her back in the spring. And awesome. that, and if that, if you haven't watched that video yet, um, it will be linked down below. So we have questions and answers. So mom, how are you today? I am just happy. We're in West Virginia visiting relatives and, uh, God's country with the, with the mountains. We're not used to mountains. No. No, we're not. I'm like, we're going down these really steep, like, blind curves in the mountains, and I'm, like, bracing myself in the car going, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Because I'm from Florida, where it is flat. Yeah. But the color. Oh, oh It's fall. See. It's it, Today is November, Saturday, November 3rd, and I get to see fall colors. Yeah. Oranges and reds. They're real beautiful. Yeah. Uh, I've taken a lot of pictures. Okay, so. Mom, how long have you been using a planner in general? Probably about 40 years. Really? Yes. Okay. Yes, I love to use planners. I, I have to write, I love to write things down and cross them off. So I've always had a planner. And we figured out yesterday visiting her dad, apparently this is a genetic thing because... Her dad also makes a list every day and crosses off his chores. Right. So, um, have you always used like a half sheet size planner or an A5 size planner? Kind of like with this size. In? No, I, I, I started doing a, a planner this size uh, early on. However, uh, with my job and with uh, raising children, I just found that... I did, I needed a big one, so I I used the the biggest planner. What what eight by eleven? Yeah, eight and a half by and, eleven. And uh, most of the time, I used the planners that would fold back. You know that weren't um, that I could fold back. And you use. you used a lot of the at a glance. At a glance. The at a glance planners, the ones um. That were the week on two pages in blocks. Yeah. So um, if I can remember, I'll link an example of that down below. I know exactly what planner she used um, for years. She used it for years, actually. And I used it for work because I taught school. And I used it for work and I used it uh, for my family. I, I put everything together yeah. in one planner because it was just easier for me. Because I yeah. could uh, deal with work and family all at the same time. Yeah, that would go with, in addition to her lesson plan and grade book, that thing went with her to work yeah, every, every day. day. Did you ever consider going smaller than this? No, I don't like small. I like big. And I don't like anything smaller than this. No. Okay. It just wouldn't work for me. This is true. Even though you have small handwriting, it, it wouldn't work for her. Sorry, that's the other phone going off, so please ignore that. Um... How do you like using your Monster Flex? I love this. I love this Monster Flex because, as I stated before, I love to be able to bend back. She's like me. She likes to bend it like Beckham. You can bend it back. Mm -hmm. And um, with, I tried getting like a regular planner. I, I mean, I've had them, regular planners, but they don't bend back, you know, like this one will. And this is so much more convenient. Especially when you're sitting on a desk and uh, working, it doesn't take up, you know, a it, lot of space on a desk. It has a smaller and footprint. And you can have one week showing at a time. So that's, it's... Yeah, I actually, I don't know, the ringed binder that she actually still has, and that one's your address book. Right, I that. just have changed it to my address book because... I don't use it for a planner anymore. Yeah, that one. I always thought it was cool. It's another at-a-glance ring binder, and you can still get this one at Staples. Because on the cover, I thought this was so cool. It had a flap you could open up, and there was a notepad right there. Yeah. And I always thought that was the coolest. How long have you had that one? I've had it for years. It's leather. I mean, it's going to last. But, again, if you could just fold it back mm -hmm. and uh, 
use the mm -hmm. uh, the notepad by itself, that'd be great. Yeah. But again, it doesn't it, it doesn't stay flat. Yeah. What I'm trying to do, what you guys can't see me trying to do, is I'm trying not to have her flash the inside of the cover okay. because, like me, she has put her contact information if for some reason we ever leave our planners somewhere. So, okay. um, and I forgot to, to say that to her before we um, got started. I don't know if you remember, Mom, um, the old leather planner that I used for years, actually, was your old one when you got that uh -huh. plants one. I know. Um, I think I've done a video on it. I will try to... Uh, if I have, I'll link it. If not, it's on my list to do. But I still have that binder because it's a nice zippered one. I think it was a daytimer one. Mm -hmm. um, and that served me well for years. But now the rings are microscopic. The rings are only like that big. I think they're quarter inch, quarter, but yeah, quarter inch mm -hmm. rings. And then do you remember, I know we're like getting off the questions I actually sent you, but I thought this might happen. When I was in first grade, you got, I think you got that, that my, my old one, my original ring planner, and you gave me, it was actually a fairly small little uh, binder that flat, had a flap that opened over, and I, like, I got that in the first grade. Mom gave me her old planner and had some old, like, planner sheets in it, and, like, I didn't plan in it, but I played in it. I think I wrote, I heart JTT. Or for those of you that didn't grow up in the 90s, that's Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Yeah. I wrote that all over that thing. Do you remember that thing? No. So, yeah. Planners have been in my life. All my life. All your life. All, mm -hmm. Okay, so back to the actual questions. Is there anything you wish we had done differently when we set it up? Um... I don't know what I put. Oh, uh, let's see. That was question five. Uh, you're gonna change to a calendar oh, only yeah. with the with to do pages instead of the sections. With my lifestyle now, because I'm retired, I don't have, uh, and my kids are grown up, so I don't have the the daily uh, tasks I need to really watch out for so mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to get uh, just my calendar and then I'm going to have to-do lists and the only one I really have to watch out for is my husband and my mother and they don't they don't have a lot of activities mm -hmm. so I think if I just have a, to, a straight to-do list uh, I would be better off I don't need you know Friday Saturday Sunday like so do you think you're just going to get like a month at a glance or something? A month at a glance and then I'm just going to get pages okay, to so, write on. So, okay, when we look for your 2019 planner, we need to try to find you some bigger month monthly pages. Yeah, bigger monthly pages, even if I had, yeah, that would probably work better for me. And I'm still going to have my dump list and I'm still going to have like a list of uh, what I want to get done, like say in November. Yeah, your, her month, her monthly master task yeah, list. Yeah, monthly master task, but like for a daily thing, I don't need an everyday thing. Mm -hmm. I, You've got your routine. I have my routine now because, you know, when you don't have to go to work every day like like I used to, then, uh, and you, know, you don't have young children every day that have activities or homework due or this ball game or that ball game, then you don't have to really worry about that. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, well, not to mention, you know, the last few years of your teaching career, they kept changing up whether or not she was on block schedule or, like, whether or not you had four classes a day or, like, seven classes right. a day. So, she was right in her, not only her lesson plan book, but also this thing. Um, well, not well, the, not I've... this one, but her other one. You'd actually write what period you were teaching. Right, because at. lesson plans actually went online. Yeah. So. We oh yeah, that's right. We didn't have a lesson plan book. If anymore. you guys just heard that, the heater in the room just kicked on. So hopefully that's not too bad. Um, currently, how many sections do you have in your planner? Uh, other than too many. Too many, but sections I use one, two, three. 
Five. You have five. Five that I use. And within 2019, you think you're going to downgrade that to maybe like three calendar to-do list dump set? Well, and then I'll have my uh, phone numbers. Uh And I also have, I just have stuff stuck in here of things I want to do. Like Mm -hmm. we go do something that I stick in here so I don't forget about them. Okay. Um, And what else? Uh, You know, stuff for the house. But, and my um, and phone numbers. But mm-hmm. yeah, I'll have a dump list. Those are quick reference phone numbers because you, your full address book is an entirely separate right. binder. Right, I just have quick phone numbers. When I okay. Ask. What are some of your favorite accessories to use with this thing? I love the washi tape. I may have created a monster. I love the washi tape. I love using different colored pens. I always use yes. different colored pens. And sometimes I use stickers. But, uh, yeah, um, I will say this prepping mom's, um, prepping her planner pages so that she could repunch them. It was great. I just went through my washi tape collection and pulled all the ones that I didn't really like and see if she was and gave them to me, <laughs> came into me and she doesn't care. Um, because you also don't archive your planner pages either. She, uh, she, once the week's over, it's. They go in the recycling. Right. I, I, I don't need to archive my planner pages. Well, and I'm only holding on to mine for so long. I don't know how, how long I'll keep mine, to be honest. I'm not like, uh, say, Steve Morton of Philofaxy, who has every set of planner inserts since, like, the 1970s when he started using a planner. I don't know. It might come in handy one day. It has. <laughs> and that actually, he, he did. He tells the story about another tangent, um, about how he had to prove where he was on a certain day or something and back in the 80s and you might i mean you never know it might come in handy one day yeah especially with everything that's going on in the world right now yeah. right so yeah that's all i'm gonna say about that okay we kind of touched on this one already but have you been thinking about what inserts you want for 2019 you said a month month on two pages and month on two pages and i'm going to try to find her larger month on two pages because your monthly now as i just take her planner from her it's you don't really have really big months no well okay that might be as big as you can get though Okay, is there anything on here that you think... Nah. Okay. So, <laughs> this is the the planner insert she has. And as you can see, there's washi tape. Because we've reused old stuff. Well, no. The planner you had actually gotten for 2019, it was one of those... 2018. I, 18, thank you. Um, I don't remember what it was called. But you can get it at Walmart, and it's got the bigger months like you just saw. Or did I buy that for Grandma? No, I uh, I bought one for myself. And yeah, and it's got a big weekly section, like which I really don't use anymore. You know, she doesn't. And I just make lists on it. <laughs> um, and she and um, that's probably what we might get again. Or I'm just gonna look for bigger um, monthlies. I may just design you bigger monthlies and we'll print them out on thicker paper so you don't have any ghosting. Yeah, we could print you know, the fun of stock. That would be good. The fun of messing around on uh, Microsoft Word, right? And um, so, yeah. But you wouldn't want to do what I do. Hang on. Reach across to the other bed and get mine. Yeah, you don't need weeklies anymore, so my pens are everywhere. So you wouldn't want to go to vertical week on two pages. No, I would just need lists. Well, I mean, let me flip to one. All right. But as you guys are well aware, the vertical week on two pages is essentially like a daily, you can make a daily list in it. That's true. That, that is true, but these inserts are pricey. And do I need an everyday list? Or do that, I need I, a weekly list? You know? Yeah. Because sometimes I think I might just need, I want to get this done this week. Yeah. Which, which, you know, 
ever, th things change, you know, what you need from week to week can change as we've seen with other people mm -hmm. on, in the planner community on YouTube. Um, so yeah, we will continue to look into that. And then, okay, last question. Is there anything else you'd like to say about this? I think this is ingenious, that you can fold it back, and uh, I think they should uh, give you kudos. At what, who makes this? Mead. Mead. Mead should come after and, and let you be their designer. Mead, if you're watching, <laughs> you need to contact her so she can be your designer of planners. Thank you. Yeah. But this is ingenious, and I don't know why anybody... Uh, Someone has not come up with this. Well, that's the thing. You know, Mead for a while had the Mead shopping. Organize her shopping companion, what we all know as My Mini Flex, the purple one yeah. that you have. And she actually still has one that I get, uh, gifted her. Um, before, pink and purple were the last round of doing that. Apparently, there was a robin's egg, kind of Tiffany bluish one, and a gray one. I, I've seen pictures of them on Google. And they're gorgeous. Um, another uh, person in the planner community in the DIY planners group. So we DIY our planners. So of course I'm in that group. She has one of those. And she turned it into a planner as well. Um, I, I, you guys have heard me say this before. I just think me didn't market the product correctly. And now it's discontinued. And it's too skinny to, make, to be a uh... A planner, actually. Yeah, because it has the one inch. Yeah. Okay, you I don't know what one. keeps shaking the camera because we're not actually touching it. Okay. So, yeah, any vibrations or anything? Sorry about that. We're not even touching the table this is on. No. But, yeah, the, um, the Organize Her Shopping Companions have small one inch rings. And depending on what you want to carry with you, those rings aren't big enough. Obviously, the five subject two inch rings are a little, um, these can be a little too big for some people. I'll admit there are some days this is too big for me, but on days like that, I just grab my B6 and I just jot stuff down on post-it notes. So I know it's not going to last. I will, I am, I have essentially to use the ill-fated term planner piece in this thing. Mom, would you say you have found planner, somewhat planner piece yes. using yours? Because this can fit in most of my bags. It does. You have and always you carried a large with, purse. You can take it with you. And um, it's not heavy. Mm -hmm. and it's like those big leather ones. They can get heavy. Yeah, as much as I love the daytime or Malibu style planner, it's and it holds the same size inserts as this one, its footprint is about an inch wider, you know, all around, and that's just, and I can't bend it back. So it's it's actually become too big for me. If you can, it, to, right, and to, to put it in, a, in one of your bags and carry it, it gets uh -huh. heavy. The current purse I use is that purple one. I think I, I've showed it in a previous video, um, with the two with the two sections, mm -hmm. and this fits perfectly in that. Um, the Malibu, the desk size Malibu would not fit in there. No. Um, okay. That's all the questions. Mom, thank you so much for agreeing to. Thank you for making this for me. You're welcome. I love it. I'm so I glad. It. And remember, Mead, you need <laughs> to contact this young lady to help you plan your planners. <laughs> all right, everyone. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye.